My name is Jan Evans. I've been growing Mardigan lilies for 30 years, uh, other lilies as well, and I enjoy propagating them. I've found much easier ways than the old methods. In other words, oh, this is how you do it. No, no. Uh, you don't put lilies and peat moss in, in bags like this and put some seed in and mix it up in a bag because the bags are floppy and not quite sure where to put them. No. What you need are these little containers. Excellent. You can buy them in 50s, $3 for 50, and you can buy the caps. Cheap. So what you do is, you want to grow lilies? Hey, you use the peat moss. And I'll put some seeds in. Then I'll take another layer of peat moss. Put some more seeds. And the seed is layered through this pot, all through this pot. What do I do now? I put the seed in the pot, label it, label the thing, Megan, cross, I'm not sure what it crossed with, but it's a Megan cross, the day, you know, like say October 20, 2018. Now this thing then, goes into a larger, I don't have a big bag here, but it goes into a large garbage bag, a blue one usually. It goes inside a garbage bag and inside another double garbage bag. So I put maybe 40 or 50 of these seed containers in there with different crosses, different seeds. And I'll keep them till Christmas at a high temperature, 70 to 80 degrees. And I make sure there's no moisture escaping from them because they're in a double sealed garbage bag, preferably a, a clear one. Then I'll give them three months of chilling in the garage or in a refrigerator. And then as soon as the ground is ready outside, you'll notice these seedlings will start to sprout. And what do I do? I don't take them apart and ruin them. I just go outside, dig a little, dig a little trench in the garden, and I flip them like this. And put them right in as they are now normally they would have put this they would have wound this the this roots would have wound this together i do the same thing exactly exactly the same thing well i could dump this anyway now yeah i do the same thing with scales this one claude shrine i mean anyone can grow claude shrine so you want to grow them you take the scales off and it's one of the easiest lilies in the world to grow. You take the scales off. Of course, it's not as dirty as this. You wash them first. But here are the scales, called tried scales. What you do, put a peat moss, put some scales. Lots of them, actually. Peat moss, scales, scales, peat moss. And then you put the lid on and do exactly the same thing. Three months, this is Claude Shride. Claude Shride. And it's October, three months, early October, three months at room temperature, 70 to 80 degrees. And then three months at least of chilling. And then you take this Claude Shride, it'll be a mass of roots and bulbils. And you flip it like this out and put it in the soil and put an inch of soil on top. Dig a bit of a trench and put an inch of soil and 25 or 30 clawed shrides will jump up there for you. Don't separate them. Don't fiddle around with them. They'll die. This way I can grow thousands of lilies very easily. This is the secret. These little containers. And once they're established in these containers, including seedlings or scales you just tip them out and put them directly in the soil as early as you can in the year and maybe put an inch of say topsoil on them or an inch of artificial or synthetic soil and then your seedlings will come up in groups or bundles and you know since i grow them commercially you can use fungicides there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing toxic about fungicides Every strawberry, raspberry, blackberry that you've eaten this year is just loaded with fungicides. And they're harmless. They've been checked. They've been proven. The fungicides will, because you grow them in close proximity, lilies, 
and botrytis, you have to spray them as seedlings. And if you spray them as seedlings, uh, starting in late April, early May, and spray them every two weeks, they will go three or four times faster because they won't die off by the end of June. They'll stay until August, September. That's how scales to flowering in two to three years, seedlings, seedlings to flowering in three to four years instead of the seven years, the seven year itch as we call it. Uh, it's much faster, it's much better, and it's much easier. You just don't have to follow the same old trail. Just use this methodology. I'll write it up sometime. It is written up, actually. Thank you.